hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ugo iduma if this is your first time tuning in and checking in my youtube channel please don't forget to click the subscribe button and also to don't forget to click the thumbs up button the thumbs up button really helps my channel grow and if you just like seeing upcoming artists become artists <laughs> Do click the like button and also to subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming by my very last video i did ask that if you people wanted uh, a video on my first week of you know university life and stuff like that do let me know and most of you did comment i saw one of your comments is in there i did see your comments and i'm here to make that video for you i am a master student I started my first classes in September of 2019 and I'm in my second semester right now. I'm an Erasmus student and my program is a joint master's with um, the University of Glasgow, DCU and Charles University in Prague. So after my stay here in DCU, I will move to Prague for my last semester. Like semester before you know there's this um, little window for people to go and work on their dissertation officially I'm doing a master's in security intelligence and strategic studies before I even traveled for the program I was really really excited to start the program to do the masters and then before the actual masters they had already sent us our timetable we had selected the courses we we'll do and on my timetable it was you know Tuesdays to Thursdays and then the classes were like 9 to 11 which overall I felt were doable so in my head I felt like you know I'll be touring Glasgow I'll still have time to read my books I will just be that you know that Tory slash student fast forward to when I actually got into the university I got into the University of Glasgow September 11th a few days after that was now the first week of school. That was the first week of school is always orientation where they give you um, details of, you know, how to use the library because, you know, the library is quite different. They just give you an overall, you know, introduction of what to do, how the grading system works and um, the societies, unions to join. All those information is given to you in the first week. I think the first day of orientation was on a Tuesday. I, you know, put in the location of where we're supposed to do it. It was in the medical building. Then I walked to the place and I just stood there at the corridor because it wasn't time for the program. We had like a few minutes to the time. I just stood outside there and then there were a lot of people standing there. And then everybody was talking to everybody. Like everybody was talking to each other like they knew each other. I was just new. I was just like, okay, maybe this one might be for my course. Maybe they're for my course. Because everybody was just standing, being all friendly, being all chatty. And I don't know anybody. I stood there. One, you know, brunette came and met me. I was just like, you know, what's your name? I told her my name. Where are you from? I told her where I was from. I, you know, I reciprocated the question to where are you from to. So because she wasn't really talking to anybody, I just thought, you know, the class would be very few. Because my undergraduates were like 16 of us. And coming there, I was like, we'll just be the same, you know, that same number or something like that. I got into the class. Everybody got seated. After a while, the class started becoming full. The lecturer started coming in. The course convener started coming in and, you know, gave the introduction, welcome. And as I sat down there and then there were a lot of people there, in my head, I just thought, these are like old students plus new students. They don't want talks to mix. You know that kind of vibe. They were not like, you know, there are 55 of us for this program. All these human beings are taking this course with me. I was like, wow. I'm not used to like a big class. They were not like everybody should introduce themselves. Everybody stood up, said their names and what they did before now. I graduated 2017. I really haven't had a lot of work experience. After I graduated, I went for my NYSE and I really don't have much work experience and a lot of them there were you know reasonably young they had a lot of work experience and then I sat down there and then they were just like I worked seven years here borders countries without borders Kinewanu without university I worked in this embassy worked here for seven years then moved here for eight years worked in this law firm people are just saying bunch of you know fancy stuff and I just sat down and then I was like, wow, all I did was, you know, graduate university, went and served my country and then I am here. Like, <laughs> so I really didn't have like much to say, but then the class kind of gave you that kind of intimidating vibe where you're like, wow, I might be the dumbest individual in this class. 
wow after we introduced ourselves then they started giving us information about the course you know each lecturer will come and tell you a little bit about the course and day and day like you get that sense of oh my god this is not what I planned on doing. This is not the life I dreamed of. Because it, it, it dawns on you that this is going to be very, 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 very difficult. This is going to be hard. Tears were just at the border of my of my eyes because so just like, wow, my vision have just come crashing down. It was just chilling. But the most chilling part of it was when they came out, they were not like, you know, we offer mental services you know all this if you need help you can go and meet the consulting people they are very skilled they can talk to you he was like he understands how difficult the cost can be very challenging people really find it hard it's because of how overwhelming the workload can be i was like for a cost you know school is hard overall but then for a cost to require <laughs> mental health services <laughs> it is hard <laughs> it's legit difficult i was just like what have i gotten myself into then it dawned on me too that my course is two years i was like hey, hey, hey. i'm gonna be mad for two years hey. i remember just that first session ending and Everybody was not leaving the class and you know that same brunette I talked to outside I'm like, I'm like wow this class is really you know tough it's not what I expected I was like baby girl me too me too fam me too after that class session there was another session in the evening at the pub and everybody was there everybody was socializing and you know everybody's trying to know who and who are in the class like you want to pick the brains in the class that kind of vibe and everybody has done something like a part of you feels um slightly not like intimidated you kind of ask yourself you know do you have what it takes to be amongst these people i sat down there you know everybody's you know they'll taunt you so what have you been doing you know what have you been doing and for somebody that hasn't done a whole lot you can imagine how i was just feeling like i felt really small but at the same time i felt proud of myself because i'm 22 and you know i'm sitting here with all of you like i'm the badass here you get like <laughs> part of you still wants to validate yourself and really tell yourself you know don't feel bad about yourself that feeling of you know am i am i am i good enough for this am, am i capable of doing this can i do this even started like really really hope like there for me and then i remember just leaving really early i would advise anybody that feels that way to really leave early because it's not good for your mental state when they now start telling you they know this they know that it just makes you feel even more smaller and then i left that place and i remember calling my mom and just telling my mom you know i really feel like dropping out and i called my dad and i was like you know don't really expect much from me like i might not perform as good as you want because everything that's saying here i don't know it. next there was another program wednesday was another program and it was just telling us like what to expect like essays seminars how the setup will be and stuff like that and i remember sitting down next to this guy Sham. the teacher was not like turned to the person sitting next to you because she now like said everything that we'll be doing in the program you know essays seminars master classes all those things like she gave the breakdown of it and then to so said turn to your neighbor and was like you know tell the person um, what part of the program will you find challenging and you know he was like uh, he now asked me and i was like everything i i think everything will be challenging and he looks at me with that kind of face like he must not be serious like are you even here to study how can everything be how can how can everything be challenging for you like how can you find everything difficult that was my honest opinion i've never been in a seminar program i've never written an essay and then the way they were talking to us the day before they were like they don't expect us to reproduce knowledge but produce knowledge and you know all those kind of like they expect you to write critically they expect you to think critically at that point you're sitting down there and be like i don't think i don't think i think critically like i'm used to copying and pasting i can do that for you you know what do you, what do you mean by thinking critically like and then i get there the next day and then this person is telling me you're not serious and 
you could see it in my face i didn't just want to be there like i legit now called my mother after it i was just crying i was just telling her you know i want to just get deported it was just too much a little bit too much later in the evening you know i opened my moodle because um classes were to now start on tuesday and that was a thursday I now opened the moodle checked the reading list and i'm like is this for the whole semester or for a week because everything is labeled week one week two week three up until week 12 and then week one is just introduction to the course and then there are like 14 books to read 14 whole books to read <laughs> i was shocked and i was like wow and that was just one course for one week and i said oh, maybe the second one will be easier i opened it it was like seven things to read the thing that shocks about these things is when you open them they are not like two pages three pages they're like 20 pages 34 pages you know 15 pages you're like oh. <laughs> only me will read all this that first week eh, i was like wow there is no time to stand and stare this is not the moment to be gallivanting and taking pictures and be like hello guys i was like i need to start reading i need to get cracking you know i need to get myself locked down you know i wore my glasses pushed it all back out like i need to get into work mode and beast mode and really really give it my all i now started um reading for the course and you know there's a whatsapp group too and people will just be going out i'm going to the pub are you going to the pub I'm going to go grab some fish and chips. Do you want to follow me? I'm like, fam, are you not reading this reading list? The thing with it is most of these people have background, like background in these things. The introductory parts of what I'm shocked about, they're reading. I started reading the work that first week and you open one and most of the work doesn't make any sense. You're not understanding it. I had this two years gap and then I'm now starting to, to read again. So so i would now be reading some some of the um articles they tell us to read and then i'm not understanding what i'm reading i'm not getting what i'm reading i'm frustrated because i don't understand this paragraph and then it that whole first week was so amazing because i could just you know i'll just hear hear a particular song you know i am with you wherever you go and then I will hear that song resounding in my head when I'm just there because it gets to a point I'm reading this paragraph and I don't understand what this whole this individual wrote and then God will just tell me read the next paragraph I'm like I don't understand the first paragraph why would he tell me to read the second paragraph I don't get the first paragraph and I was frustrated because most of the things were in like big English listen to my channel or listen to me and even watch me move you know that big grammar is not how I roll like I don't roll like that and I'm just there with my dictionary, you know, I'm looking up words, trying to understand the word, trying to apply the word to the sentence, trying to apply it to the, to the paragraph. And you tell me, read the next paragraph. I'll read the next paragraph, I might have a little bit of understanding of it, I'll be like, but I don't fully get it. You'll just be like, read the next one, read the next one. After reading it, I still don't get it. Maybe I only got like one sentence out of the whole article I read. 34 pages and only one line I understood and it was so frustrating and I would call home I would call all my friends and you know It's very important if you're coming for masters that you have really 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 good friends that will root for you and have family members that will support you too and I had that and I'm grateful for that and I will, I will caution hmm, I will caution you. I will complain She would just be there encouraging me and so I'm be like I intentionally crying all these videos you know it was very good having that system because I always encourage my friends like to see them be there for me was amazing and to see my sisters be there for me was amazing to see my brother even there for me even my mom too and my dad will always call me every day every day have you made friends have you made friends are you settling in are you settling in the way master's program here is why are this nobody teaches you everybody just you read the work you come and you sit down and 
they just discuss what they've read and everybody is putting out their academic thinking to eat and everybody's learning from one another and then you're just sitting down and you're like I don't think somebody has anything to learn from me I don't think somebody has anything to take from me do you get that kind of feeling because the class intimidates you like these are people from different parts of the world they've accomplished so much and you're like why am I here even some of my friends now will really really like just be like you know you can do this most of my friends have so much faith and confidence in me that I even do about my own self and it's just like oh. I have some friends too that will give me tough love things I don't want to hear but at the same time I needed to hear they'll just be like why are you even crying don't you know that masters are supposed to be difficult don't you know you're capable of giving it your best like shout out to Eniola and then I'll stop talking to her because you know I don't want to hear that I just want you to you know tell me sorry to be okay I'm all right I'm fine I'm good I had my sister my sister always tell me you'll be fine you'll be okay you'll be all right and then at this point I'm like I know I'm fine I know I'm good and then God keeps you know resounding that song to me that he's with me wherever I go and you know after like after like a couple of days like you know, I was in this rut Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then, you know, Sunday I was just gangster, man. I just, I was like, gangster. I don't know how to explain this video, like, and how I felt. Sunday, I was just, I you know, I just sat down here, and then, you know, you're just like, before I even knew myself, before my parents even knew me, before I was even formed, God knew me, and He knew what I was capable of, and He knew that. I will do this and not just sometimes you just be like I think I can do a masters I went beyond that kind of thinking of you know I think I can do this program to telling myself you know I can do this and finish well and finish strong God will start with me strong and finish with me strong I began to become gangster and confident not in myself and in my abilities because I know deep inside that I don't know anything Sometimes I'm in class and they're really talking about things and I'm like I'm going to go and Google that later. I don't know it today, but when you're talking about it tomorrow I'm going to know it because I'm going to go and Google it. I got confident in God I got confident in the fact that he's not going to leave me like if he brought me this far He's not going to leave me like I don't know how to explain it, but I knew that people were rooting for me like you guys stood send me prayers my aunties will send me prayers and i knew people were rooting for me and i knew god was rooting for me and i just had to root for myself and you know some people will tell you that they came for their masters and you know the first couple of months that they were okay they were all feeling overwhelmed for me it was different because the first couple of weeks work one to week three I was overwhelmed every feeling of breakdown I had it in that week every day I came back from class I would cry if you're doing a master's and you started this January or you're about to start in February and um, about to start in September or you've even started and you feel like overwhelmed and everybody in that class is better than you just no one thing everybody is in that master's everybody they don't know everybody's stupid with you and let me tell you something eh? You might be thinking these people are better than you. Them too are thinking you are better than them. That is life. And then you, you be there in that class and you think you're the only one feeling small. No. Everybody in that class, they are feeling the same way you're feeling. And some people are thinking you're stupid in that class. It's the same way you are thinking them are stupid too. Trust me. Know that everybody in that class are feeling the same way you're feeling. They are crying in their own beds the same way you're crying. They are struggling to read it the same way you're struggling to read it. You need to root for yourself. You need to be like, you know, I got this. It was painful. <laughs> but you need to tell yourself that, like, you know, you got this and you can do this. Like, who are they even? And then I would advise, like, see, eh, most of those people, before they came for that master's, eh, they already had a WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group, it's a good platform to like know the people you're going to go 
to class with some of them already were in whatsapp groups and facebook groups and they already knew each other they were just talking to each other that is why in the corridor everybody was talking to each other that's because you're placing a name to the face it's a good thing because you don't just feel left out like you don't feel you feel like you already have friends and then again too most people were going on social media and then stalking their classmates you know you want to know who you're going to sit in class with you want to know what and what they are up to you want to know if they're up to your level that determines what you say on that first day like when you know everybody's gangster you're even gonna lie some people might even be unemployed in that class and i don't know and they'll tell me their past jobs that they sacked them from some people have already browsed on you they already know who you are stuff like that that is actually good it gives you it gives you full knowledge of who you're going to be in class with if you need to read you might read before that just to have sense but then again so i don't encourage that because it kind of gives you fear especially if you're like me and you haven't really accomplished much much in your life you're just 22 fresh out of school fresh out of nyc all you know how to do is gangster hustle that's all you know how to do I would advise that you don't browse on all these people because the kind of inferiority complex that will be going on in your head, you might actually drop out from school even before getting to school. So I would advise you to head into that class not knowing them, facing them and by that time you've paid all your school fees in full, that time you just need to be like for the school fees, for the money I have spent, for my father that has invested so much money, I got to get this together. I really am sorry for having been emotional and the thing about when I start getting emotional like I don't know how to stop. Thank you so much for watching and if you want to like know how my, my second week as a master student was, comment down below and I will tell you how my second week was because the second week was worse than the first week. I don't even know if I was able to say everything I was saying because I was so anxious and stuff like that but if you are a master student and you relate with any single thing that I have said, comment down below and you know give advice that pulled you through that first week of school that was hard and difficult and let's just go down there and encourage one another because it's important that every single person knows that someone is rooting for them and even if they're not saying it physically that they are that God is rooting for them and they just need to root for themselves and sometimes you don't even need people to root for you you just need god and yourself to root for you thank you so much for watching